Hey, it's Ron. Ron Smith Turner. Welcome to my shop. I'm back. Hey, I got a little itty bitty project today. Just felt like something small because I'm packing. I'm going to the ranch and I'm going to start working on my shop. And I'm going to make a video to shop update. Uh, going to be looking at a house to put on it and. Uh, you know, getting fence, water, electricity, all that stuff. So it's going to be a busy weekend, and I'm going to have time to do a little hunting too. But I got a new JVC camera, one of them old types that has the disc in there that holds a lots and lots of memory, and the battery works on it. So <laughs> no more noisy ranch tours. So anyway, today I just wanted to make a quick bottle stopper, and this is a piece of spalted pecan, and uh, I got it on this little mandrel that's four bottle stoppers so basically you drill a five sixteenths hole and tap it like I did that turkey pot call which by the way so so stick with me and uh we're gonna do a quick bottle stopper and then check back with me uh next week because I'll have a shop update for you guys. Alright so there it is I got it on my little lathe I can do it on the big one but I haven't played with this one in a couple of weeks so I'm gonna use this one Basically, all I'm going to do is just shape it like I want to shape it, and uh, I guess the main part of this video is I'm going to put a really good gloss finish on it, uh, not with CA glue, but with that uh, Beal buffing system, and uh, it should stay pretty shiny. So, let's -a go. Almost round. It's uh, got a little flat spot here yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna switch away from the carbide and use my little Robert Sorby uh, tool because it's like sharp as a needle, <laughs> and because that, it'll minimize this tearing and, and start cutting it. So let me play with this. in it we can grab it and uncork the bottle it's evened up down here this is the same diameter as a bottle stopper rig so once I get done sanding it I'll uh, polish it up and we'll have a bottle stopper so not much to it I know easy y'all probably bored to tears watching somebody make a bottle stopper but it's pretty look at it and it's gonna shine really good when I get done with it and plus, I don't want to start nothing big because I'm looking forward to going to the ranch. Bad. Alright. I got it sanded to 400. I'm using one of these thousand dollar sponges. <laughs> to put this min wax sanding sealer on. And yeah, I gotta I gotta wait. But this I'll put two or three coats of this because it's gonna raise the grain. I'm gonna sand it again. And it's gonna seal that wood because this spalted stuff is you know it's uh, spongy. So I won't be able to get a hard finish on it unless I soak it down pretty good.
And no, they're not $1,000 sponges, but I told y'all the story. My wife had surgery, and they used this, and they were going to throw it away. And I said, hell, I prayed for it, so I kept it. Now i got about a 1,000 of these. <laughs> All right, let that dry, <clears throat> and then we'll uh, re-sand it. But while we're letting that dry, I'm going to show you my, my camera that I've been using. It's a camcorder. It's a JVC Ibario. And it's got a 30 gigabyte disk in there. Uh, they're old. You can still get them on uh, eBay. Captain Eddie Castellan talked about these. And, uh, man, he's right. You don't run out of SIM card with this baby. I can do a whole movie on it, you know, cut it up, but, and never even get close. Um, the only problem is, is that sometimes the batteries, so they don't last all that great. But if you uh, hook it up to direct power, um, and that's what I do. I just keep it running off of power. But it's a pretty slick little camera, and it's got uh, 34 power zoom on it, and I got it for like 80 bucks. <laughs> Brand new in the box. So check them out and don't buy all of them because I got two now. I'm probably going to end up with four. So save me some. Alright. So it dried. I gave it a quick 400 gritter and then I'm going to use some of my black paste to pull them spot lines out. <clears throat> and uh, See if it works. I mean, it does pretty good on spalt and stuff so far. I mean, it's probably debatable on camera, but I think it makes black blacker. <laughs> so, let's see what it does. It's shiny. Pretty smooth. It's gonna look really good whenever I uh, hit it with the beetle system. I think. We'll see. Look at here. Nice and black. Nice and polished looking. So I'm basically done. I'm gonna uh, take it off. And then I got one of those uh, little bottle stopper thingies. Go ahead and screw it on there. And there we go. Now all I gotta do is just polish it up. So let me go do that. This is exactly why. I got two cameras because now I got it on one side of the room and I got to move it to the other side of the room. But I ain't gonna bother because y'all seen me buff stuff before, so I'll be back whenever I get it buffed up. Okay, it's all buffed up. Here it is. They're pretty shiny. Not perfect looking. It's got some shine to it. I ain't gonna lie. But anyway, just a bottle stopper, quick, easy. But uh, he can sell these things like hotcakes. <laughs> uh, anyway, so stay tuned. Uh, next week I'll be uh, putting up a shop update, and uh, I'm I really appreciate all you subscribers. And if you like it, subscribe and tell your friends. Uh, I have no fun, and this was fun. You know, anything you can do in the shop is fun to me. So y'all have a great day. <laughs>